Hello everyone and welcome back to this Trappy and Next.js tutorial series. In the previous video, we uh, installed and did the scaffolding for our uh, Next.js UI layer. And we also installed the Strapi server, okay? So in this video, our attention is uh, now put on the Strapi uh, content modeling. So we want to build our content uh, models. But before that, I would like to show you um, the actual model itself okay so this is what we are going to build as you can see here uh, we have a job uh, entity and we have a company entity okay and we have relations between those entities so for example a company has uh, zero or many jobs a job belongs to one and only one company so that's that's this uh, cardinality symbol here and also a job is related to zero or many jobs and a job um, that has a relationship uh, to another job is, I mean, it, it, when reading on this other on, on this other side, uh, on this other direction, it's uh, one and only one. Okay, so a job, I think it's better to read it like this. A job is related to zero or many jobs. Okay, so and in terms of um, the um, the fields, you can see that uh, we have the title here, and I'm, I'm not going to read them all for you, for, for you, but we have some types that are like enums. So, for example, the experience level, as you can see, if I go back to the deployed version here, um, you can see that the experience level is an enum. We decided the, the, the allowed uh, uh, values. Similarly, for job types, okay, so these are the allowed values. This is why these are enums here, and also we have tags, okay, so these are tags uh, that we need. For example, for the skill sets uh, that the job, a specific job requires of type tags. Uh, we have also rich text. For example, here, you, if I go to a particular job, you see that that job has like, for example, we have text in bold. We have a uh, list items like this. Okay, so we have list items here. Um, uh, like this and, and yeah, these, these are what we call rich text. Um, or CM, CMS is called it the same. Okay, and we also have like booleans. So if a job is a feature job or not, we will have the salary. So all the features, all the, the data that you need um, um, on a particular job are related here. Uh, 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 to display a job details page are on this um, entity relation diagram. Okay, so that's where we, that's what we're gonna do. And uh, without further ado, let's do let's do exactly that. Okay, so I'm gonna minimize this here okay minimize this and let's start with the job i'm going to increase the size for this let's increase the size of this thing all right very good fantastic so now the first thing obviously that we want to build is the job entity so i'm going to call it job okay singular uh and then advanced settings uh draft default publish okay enable localization for this content type yes and then very good now let's start to add our types okay so we want to add a title obviously so let's add a title and we're going to add the constraints um and the validations later on so let's just add them quickly and then the slog i'm going to do the slog later as well so i'm going to skip the slog for now now remote okay it's a boolean so let's do the boolean type remote okay Okay, very good. Uh, required field. I'm gonna add the dependent. The sorry, the validation later. Featured job. Let's do that. It's a boolean as well. So featured, featured job. Very good. Let's do that. Now, next thing is uh, date posted. It's a date time. So let's do that. Date posted. Fantastic. Now let's add another type. Uh, it's a it's a it's a type enum. Oh, I should select uh, yeah this I should select this here. Now let's add another one. Um, experience level is of enum, but this we're gonna deal with that. Oh yeah, this is the enum type. So let's pick it here. Um, experience level. Okay. So I'm gonna add the values. Uh, full time part-time uh, internship 
okay contract these are the these are the allowed values this is the in type enum okay so let's add another one uh job type oh no i, I should have called it this the previous one um, job type okay so let's add now job type i'm going to change the values in the other one job type uh, full time part time contract okay internship i'm going to update the values that i added for experience level this is a different thing okay so now we want to add um, a job category obviously this is a free range uh, thing we don't necessarily know job category beforehand okay now next one is application link so where you want the person to click to apply um where you want to redirect the visitor when he clicks to apply to a job so this too is of type your um, it's text but we're going to add the validation later on to make sure that uh, it matches a particular uh, regular expression uh, to validate that it's always a link that gets added here okay so application link fantastic now next thing we want to add is the job description and this is as you can see here soft type rich text so let's add that job description description okay fantastic let's add another rich text uh, about you okay about you very good another one job responsibilities job responsibilities very very good save that and finally um remuneration package okay remuneration package package very good and for the skills it's of type tags but we're going to cover that in the, in the subsequent videos because uh, we don't have native tags in uh, in strapi uh, so we're going to see how to deal with that in the, in, the, in the subsequent video but before i would like to uh, create uh, the company type but before going there i would like to fix my mistake here so this is not this it should be senior um media junior and then take lead here Okay, these are the types finish very good now solve that solve the issue now these are this is the first job uh, the first entity type created let's create the other one remember the other one what it did it's um um company right so now let me put the attention here and do exactly the same so let's create another another um entity type okay so if i come here create another, another one okay let's call that company company and you see uh strap is wise enough to know the pro how it should be uh pro type which is really cool all right so enable localization for this as well very good now let's start adding our fields name name of the company very good we're gonna once again we're gonna add validation later on slope we're gonna come to that later on as well so the city very good city of the company let's add another one the logo is an image so we're going to add the type media very good the logo of that company uh this is single okay so very good then um the cover image cover image uh single as well uh another one if, if i go back here to the deployed version you see that the company has all those fields right so we have logo of the company and the featured image of the company right so that's that's what that's what these are for and the slogan the slogan of the company uh this uh, text as well it's a long text this time the slogan company all right very good and finally the website okay and this again this is this is another link right so website uh, of that company and finish and voila we have all our um entity types uh created so now we have the ability to create to add the company or to create a job obviously this is created by default for by by uh, strapi uh, when we uh, initialize the users uh, so yeah we now have company job 
company job which is which are exactly the two the two types that we have here on our uh, entity relation diagram okay so in the pre in the next video we're going to add like uh, constraints and validations so uh, i'll see you next take care bye